and purple. What up guys, Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and I thought what better time than this video to debut my new do. Yes, my new lavender violet do with the Pantone's Color of the Year Ultraviolet. Thought it'd be a really cool idea to come up with a nice little makeup look to coordinate with Color of the Year. If you're not familiar with what Pantone Color of the Year is, every year Pantone comes out with what they think is going to be the trendsetter for the year. And this year they are seeing ultraviolet on the catwalks and everything like that. So you're gonna see a lot of things inspired by ultraviolet throughout 2018. So super cool, super fun. And this is the look that I created with that. I have a nice little, I don't know, whatever you call it, like kind of neon crease thingy majig, some glitter, some spotlight and some cosmic lippies so if you would like to see how i created this look right here then keep watching if you wanted to just come and see my new hair my new do it's so fresh that my scalp is still stained from yesterday you know what i used it was pravana vivids the violet and then i used some pulp riot in the lilac and then i just let the color wash out and tone my hair for me because you all know that i was platinum before anyways let's jump right into that tutorial let's go Okay, so brows are already done and let's go ahead and prime my eyelid. I'm going to be using my favorite Smashbox 24 hour shadow primer as well as the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer and I am in shade Light Warm. 24 hour shadow primer and just put it all over my lids. Be careful of the brows not to smudge. And then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay and a little brush I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna take the brush because I'm gonna carve out my brows with it and then I'm gonna be putting it all over too. I just don't want to disturb my brows too much. And I am growing out my brows right now so that's why they're looking a little bit bushly. This concealer is amazing at like intensifying color and helping shadows to last all day. So I'm going to be working mostly with the Sigma Cream de Couture and then the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And the Sigma Cream de Couture, I'm not quite sure if you can get this anymore. Sigma did launch it for their holiday, but I'm not sure if it's here around, but I just picked it up. And it is gorgeous pastel. So I'm going to be using obviously the purple row and then from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar, I'm just really going to use Roll-In Dough. I also have my Sephora single which is called Purple Stilettos. This shade is amazing purple. Grab my big fluffy brush, dip it right into Roll-In Dough just to set the lids. The Urban Decay Concealer pretty much sets by itself but it's it really sticks to things, so I don't want it to stick too much. I still want to be able to blend really nicely. Next, I'm going to be grabbing my blending brush from Bare Minerals and dip it into a Violet Whip, which is a really pretty pastel purple. And then I'm going to do my crease and blend out like crazy. Blend until your hand wants to fall off. Next, I'm going to take Lavender Honey on the same brush. Focus this one more on the I'm going to take this little flat brush and dip it into that lavender honey and start working in the corners. Now I'm going to take a little angled brush and go into, I don't know how to say this, casus, casus, I don't know. And then I'm going to be working that right in that crease. And then take more of my pointed blending brush. Start blending that out. Purple stiletto time. My Sigma E25 brush. Let's build up that color. I'm gonna go back in with Casis and build up more. I'm just layering those purples now until I get the intensity that I like. Coming in with a little pencil brush and just going underneath my brow, blending a little bit. Fluffy brush and blend. Just keep building up until you're happy with the color basically. Now we're going to do a little spotlight right on the lid. So again, I'm going to take that concealer and place it right on the back of my hand and then put it right in the middle like a spotlight. And I'm cutting out the corners. 
the sides, I should say. I'm gonna take my finger and dip it right into cases. I want it as intense as possible, even though we're covering it up with glitter. I just want that base to be very violet. Now, before we go in with the glitter, I'm going to darken up all my edges now that I've laid down where my spotlight's gonna go. A nice angled brush, and I'm gonna dip it into Elderberry, which is a deep brownish violet shade. And then I'm just gonna deepen up my corners and right in the crease. Going into Decadent in the Chocolate Gold palette and just adding another layer of darkness. So sometimes I have my looks totally mapped out and sometimes I just like go with the flow and see where my paintbrush will take me. And today is one of those days. I'm like, let's just see, let's just create. I'm gonna take the Stila Glitter and Glows in Peachy Sheen. You could stop here, do your lashes, your mascara, whatever, liner, and be done with it. But this is called ultraviolet, right? And when I think of ultraviolet, I think of electric and raw and edgy. So I'm gonna take this look one step further and do, you know, one of those really crazy lines, neon lines. I don't know what the official word is called. So let's do that. So I'm going to take a white cream and really fine point digital brush. If you have a good white liquid liner, that would be awesome to use that. It'd be really easy, but I have not found one that I like that doesn't crack and get really gross. So what you're gonna do is, why my crease is up there. So I'm gonna go. And I have a hooded eye, so I have to like constantly check as I'm doing it. You know, it's gonna go away when I open my eyes, but it's okay. Right now I'm going in and setting that white with both the blueberry cream, just like an electric blue, and then cases, and I'm kind of alternating areas to give it like a lightning kind of effect. So what I did is I took my awful NYX white liquid liner and I mixed it with a white cream just to give it some more workability. And then I'm using my Bendlim brush and I'm very, very, very carefully going inside that little thing to create that like neon effect. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more glitter to intensify. All right, time to align those lids. So I'm gonna take the Gorgeous Cosmetics Carbon Black and do the upper lash line, and then wing out the top. Just a little tiny baby wing. Okay, I'm gonna apply some lashes real quick, finish off my face, and then we will do the lower lash line together. You know how we do this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I made a boo-boo and I did my mascara on my lower lash line without thinking about it, just cause routine. So, um, but that's okay, I'll just go underneath my lashes, I'll try my best. So let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. We're just gonna create a mini version of what we did on top. I'm gonna take this flat, fluffy brush-ish and then go in with Lavender Honey, which is that pinky one. I'm gonna just smudge it out. And then go in with Casus again and purple it up. Take the Peachy Sheen Glitter from Dila. From the Sigma Chroma Glow Palette, I am wearing the Felicity shade on my cheeks and as my highlight. If you can keep that low, we're going to be taking our little pencil brush and then dipping it right in there. And then I'm going to put that on my inner corner. Guys, I am loving this palette, it is amazing. And I will be doing a review on it soon with all the swatches and everything. And then let's take a little bit of the Peaceful, which is a nice nude highlighting shade. Put it right underneath the brow. Little lippy, and then this look will be complete. So today I'm going to take my Too Faced Berry lip liner, and then I'm gonna take my Jordana Black Pearl Metallic in Cosmic Nights 
and together there'll be ultraviolet beautifulness. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching my little tutorial here inspired by Pantone's Color of the Year Ultra Violet. I don't always know what I'm going to do when I sit down and film and this was just kind of letting my creative juices flow and see what I come up with. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing I would say is different is I would get a really good white eyeliner to make life easier and to carve that out. But I can't find a good one. So if you know a good liquid white liner that you can recommend to me, not the NYX one and not the... Urban Decay one. Link it down below, please, or comment it down below, please, and I will check it out. I'll help a girl out because I am struggling to find that. Anyways, before you guys leave, if you haven't yet, please go down and hit that little subscribe button. It means so much to me if you want to join my community and find out when I post more videos. And there's, there's a lot happening. There's a lot going to go on right now. You guys have a great, lovely day.